Black Sheep Rig Welter. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. The sun is well and truly over the yard arm, and that means it's time for a beer. And I've got one from the People's Republic of Yorkshire, and that is the fabled Rig Welter Strong Dark Yorkshire Ale. Now, the Black Sheep Brewery, I don't know whether you're aware of them or not, but they do some quite good stuff, but they also do some shit as well. The really good one that they do is Black Sheep Ale. That's really nice, I've reviewed it on here. It got a 10 out of 10, really, really nice. They do a milkshake IPA, which is fucking horrible. And uh, I reviewed that as well, if you want to see that. It's on the channel. And they come from good, a good pedigree. So I'm hoping this is, a good, uh, this is a good one. And the pineapple milkshake IPA, what the fuck, was, um, was a blip. Uh, they're from Masham in a place, oh, sorry, a place called Masham, which is in the People's Republic of Yorkshire. Yorkshire gained independence in the Stone Age. They decided to break away from the United Kingdom and they, they uh, voted as um, Jeff Boycott as their president for life. He's still the president now and he basically hates everyone and everything that isn't from Yorkshire. But I think you'd like this because the Black Sheep Brewery are sort of descended from Thigston's. Now Thigston's are also another Yorkshire brewery, but they're a family and one of the one of the members of the family decided to go out on his own and do his own beer, hence the name Black Sheep. And uh, this is where we are now with this. So uh, I've just noticed uh, this has been voted, uh, it's got a silver award and a gold award, a World Beer Awards winner. So it promises a lot. Let's see what is going on with this. Okay, 500ml bottle, 5.7% ABV, brewed in Masham in Yorkshire from the Black Sheep Brewery. It is a strong dark ale, powerful dark ale, full flavoured ale from Masham, Yorkshire. Where when a sheep is on its back and cannot get up without help, that's when all the Welsh people ring their mates. No, sorry, I'm getting confused there, sorry, sorry. When a sheep is on its back and cannot get up without help, Local Dale's dialect says it's rigged or rigger welted. Every Welshman's dream that. So they can see a sheep on its back that cannot get up without help. I'm sure them Welshmen would be willing to help. Put them wellies on, stick the back legs into the wellies and away you go. Anyway, moving along swiftly. Uh, yeah, it's ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops. Okay, let's get it open and let's see what's going on with this. There's the cap. Typical black sheep cap from the Black Sheep Brewery. I don't think you can see it or not. On the nose, out of the bowl. Mmm, nice. There's some yeasty esters coming off this, but you're also getting some caramel malt, a little touch of toffee malt, and some hop, earthy hop bitterness. Let's get it into the glass. See if we can get anything else out of it. Now this says it's a strong dark ale. And I have to say, strong dark ales, English dark ales, are one of my favourite styles, along with vice beer. So hopefully this is going to be a good one. There it is in the glass. One finger head, nice ruby colour. Sort of light ruby, dark chestnut colour on the nose. 
Oh yeah, more of them caramel and toffee malts on that. It does smell promising. Let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice. That is very nice indeed. Now, this is quite unusual, it's got wheat in it, which um, wheat is not normally used in these dark ales, but it has given it a nice mouthfeel, I have to say. Loads and loads of caramel and some toffee malt on that as well. There's a nice hot bitterness to it too. Earthy British hops. And the aftertaste just lingers and lingers. Chocolate, dark chocolate and toffee. Really nice. Typically British. Nice, nice fruit on there as well. Some nice dark fruit. But then the malt is what really stands out in this. And then on the back end, you get some of that big, hoppy, British hoppy, earthy, spicy flavours, which is really nice. Mm. This is award winning. And I can sort of see why. I mean, that is just typically British. You wouldn't mistake that for any other style. Mmm, full of flavour. Um, I have to say, there is better out there. Uh, the stuff from the Cropton Brewery, the Yorkshire Moors stuff, that was absolutely amazing stuff. I don't think this quite measures up to that, but that's a really high benchmark. <music> On its own merits, this, this is really good. And I got this from Morrison's. And while I was buying this, I saw somebody buying up loads of the Witchwood Hobgoblin. Now that's not bad, don't get me wrong. But this is a much better option, I think. I think which would have sort of lost their way. I don't know whether it's because they've been taken over by Marston's and, you know, there's debate about whether their recipe has changed, but I don't think it's the beer it was, personally. And stuff like this just knocks socks off it, you know? And these were available. I mean, not not a metre apart. And there was, I think, I suppose it's just a habit, really, but people were going for that. And I was half tempted to say why don't you try this stuff but I haven't tried it myself but if I do see that in future you know sometimes I see people die buying doom bar and I know I should keep my mouth shut but I just say you know why don't you try this why don't you try that sometimes they do uh, other times they look at me as if I've got two heads I suppose it's none of my business really what people drink and what they don't drink but it just annoys me when you see really good beer and people going for the shittier option I don't know about doom bar I don't know if you you like Doom Bar or not? I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest. It's just very, very average. And when it came out, it was really good. I really liked it. But I think now, especially from the bottle, where it's not brewed in Cornwall anymore, it just doesn't taste the same. But I'm going way off topic here. Let's get back onto this beer. It's lovely. I have to say, it is nice. Maybe not as good as some of the other rubies out there, but that is, that is really good. And I wouldn't have expected anything less from the... Um, the Black Sheep Brewery. In fact, yesterday I was drinking some of the, um, oh, what was it? Uh, the Black Sheep Golden Ale. And that was really nice. I was just having a sort of a, an outside meet with family and all that. And yeah, I was drinking that. And I also picked up some Marston's. Marston's Premium Beer. Oh, I don't know what he was trying to do. It, it, you know, I bought it. I didn't have my glasses on. And I thought it was a Marston's Premium Lager. And I thought, oh, I'll get that. It was only cheap. It was only pounds, sank a bottle. 
And I got it back, put my glasses on, it just said Marston's Premium Beer. It was fucking rubbish. Don't even know why I bothered. Anyway, this, really nice, full of flavour. Big toffee, well, big caramel malt, some toffee malt, some fruit, some dark fruit on that, and then you've got some earthy, spicy British hops. Lovely, a typical British ruby ale, and a good one at that. I will ignore the fucking, the milkshake IPA, I don't know what the fuck, they must have been on drugs that day when they'd done that, or um, Jeffrey Boycott must have uh, had a day off and not commanded them to brew Yorkshire ale. But, that's having said that, yeah, it's a really good, really good example of a British ruby ale, you know, in the same vein as uh, the Theakston's Ale Peculiar, um, uh, what are the others, the... Uh, the fuller stuff, you know, the 1698, that type of thing. Yeah, it's a full-bodied, strong, really drinkable, British, dark ruby ale. Not as good as the Cropton stuff, but still good. And I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. And I'd recommend it. I mean, you know, it's a no-fucking-brainer. If you're in Morrison's... There's a bottle of this, there's a bottle of Hog Goblin. I mean, this is going to win every day. It should do anyway. So next time you're in Morrison's and you see a bottle of this, get this, fuck the um, Hog Goblin off. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>